Good morning kids. Today's class about air. Students, air is natural resource and it is very essential because without air we can't live. And it present everywhere. It doesn't have shapes and color. But it has some weight and occupies space. And we cannot touch it but we can feel it and air can flow everywhere okay kids air will move one place to another place and it pushes things how is it possible we'll see the example the first one incense sticks kids the smoke of incense sticks moves everywhere because of air pushes the smoke and the second one clouds Yes, it moves everywhere because of the movement of air. Kids, air is important to breathe for all the living things. For example, plants breathe through the leaves and fish breathe through gills. We people are breathing and breathe out through the lungs. Kids, while we breathing, we take oxygen inside. That process is called inhalation, and we release carbon dioxide outside. That process is called exhalation. Okay. Next, uh, moving of air. Kids, air can move one place to another place. So the moving of air is called wind. Okay, and it moves across the surface of the earth. So based on the speed of air, we can classify it as breeze, storm and gale. Okay. And we can measure the speed of wind using an instrument is called anemometer. First breeze. Breeze it means a smooth or gentle wind is called breeze. And there are two different types of breeze. First one is sea breeze and second one is land breeze. Okay. First sea breeze. It means breeze that move or blows from sea towards the land during in the day times. That is called sea breeze. Okay. And as the warm air from the land rises up and the cold air from the sea occupies the space over the land. Which means the cold air from sea that will occupy the space over the land okay next land breeze that means the breeze that blows from the land towards the sea during night time is called land breeze and look at the picture the cold land breeze moves towards the sea so that is called land breeze okay next storm that wind is strong and sometimes it can uproot the trees and it spoil the crops also. The last one gale. It is very very strong wind compared to storm because it damages many trees and many buildings. Okay. Thank you kids.